Casper is our sponsor for this edition of Mac Voices. Casper makes obsessively engineered mattresses at shockingly fair prices. Mattresses that are delivered right to your door for you to try out for 100 days in your own home. Mattresses that have just the right sink, just the right bounce for the best night's sleep you've ever had. Visit casper.com slash macvoices right now to learn more and use the code macvoices to take $50 off the mattress that fits your sleeping needs. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner. Mac Voices is in San Francisco for WWDC and the Alt Conference. I was able to get Reza from Urban Design to tell us about ArcaSketch in between sessions. Reza, it's great to see you. Hi, thanks for uh, inviting us to come and ha have a chat here. I I'm absolutely delighted. You're, you're a bit of a different animal here. Um, you are not only a developer, but you are also a, is the phrase practicing architect? Yeah, I actually, yes, I, I'm a, I practice architecture in London. And I've been actually doing that for nearly 30 years now. So, you know, and uh, been also doing development. I started uh, with, um, uh, you know, doing a CD-ROM on the work of Le Corbusier and have continued developing uh, for the platform, moving on to the Mac and then obviously the iOS now. So I assume the architect part came first. How did you get into the development side? Just because you found it interesting? I just had a bug for it. I just lo loved it, and I just I had a bug for solving problems. And when you actually develop, suddenly a whole world happens at once, and that's actually very, very satisfying. So as soon as I started it, it just was uh, you know, a great feeling, and I just uh, developed and continued doing it. You're not the first person I've met that, that has a discipline outside of the development community, but some you're right it's just a bug right that's you, you get it and you want to be part of it yes exactly and actually architects um, a lot of them have also do other things a lot of uh, fashion designers were actually trained architects initially because it's such a wide discipline of design and uh, sort of uh, logical thinking actually a lot they can do a lot of different um, uh, jobs afterwards so like uh, you know you know most of the french fashion designers and the italian ones were actually trained architects I, that, I did not know that. That's very interesting. Is, is there something about architecture that works with fashion design? Well, it's just actually, you know, having design and having the, um, you know, having the eye for design and uh, being able to solve problems, uh, which is actually the two dis main disciplines of architecture. And I think that's also the way, you know, I became interested in uh, development because it's also on one, one level is interface design and uh, the way the user interacts with your app, and on the other level, is solving problems and uh, making you know things happen, uh, and that's also what's interesting, and that's the two sides of it. So, ArcaSketch is obviously an architectural program for the for the iPad or for iOS, I should say. Um, and I'm going to let you tell the folks about it before we get into some of the reasons that I think it's cool, and, and I'm not even an architect. Yeah, ArcaSketch. I mean, uh, came up. Uh, came up with the idea of doing ArchiSketch. The, there wasn't an, any um, apps at the time where you can actually sketch ideas. Um, all design starts with the sketches. And that becomes, uh, and I thought, okay, iPad, here's a great, great little tool for sketching out. There are painting programs, but there was nothing that could do, let you sketch in scale. And that's what you need to do in architecture. And so ArchiSketch is the... Um, is the process of sketching the initial ideas of uh, your design process and developing them. And with computers, um, architecture now becomes quite, the, the software has become quite complicated. And so it's lost a bit of that, um, the fun and the development of the initial ideas. And with ArchiSketch, that's what we're trying to achieve. It's actually that very easy, fun uh, process of just sketching and re-evaluating your ideas and trying out new ideas and, you know, using it like a tracing pad and you put new, um, you know, new sheets on it and try new ideas and, and it's all to scale. So, you know, you don't lose that idea. You have the whole concept to scale and then you can take it into other more complicated programs uh, and then develop it further. Uh, so that's the whole idea behind it. And it's not only just for architects, it's for um, interior designers and landscape designers and anybody that is involved uh, with design, such as product designers. They all could use, you know, ArchiSketch to design, to scale at, uh, you know, at the be beginning of the process. 
when you started putting together Arca Sketch, the Apple Pencil, I don't think, was out. So were you using third-party pencils, or was it more just relying on your finger at that point? Um, initially, yes, it was very much using the fingers. There were some very basic styluses that we actually were using uh, initially. And then um, we explored some of the other styluses. We never developed, uh, developed them. And then when Apple Pencil came out, it really added a totally new dimension to it. It's actually the feel of it is so natural that makes it makes it absolutely uh, you know fun and it gives that kind of the whole uh, paper and pencil feel onto you know to the design process which is great and we've added and we've added a lot of features which actually um, integrates straight for the Apple pencil which um, then w makes the whole experience again much more seamless and we're thinking of other features as well in, in watching the video you have on your website of you using it, it, it appears so natural. I think it's probably one of the most compelling um, videos I've seen for using an Apple Pencil. I've, I've, I've played with them. I, have, I don't own one. And even though I'm not an architect and, and don't fit any of the qualifications, that video makes me want to go and just play with the software and play with the pencil. That's, uh, that's great to, uh, to hear that because that's our whole intention. Yes, no, I think... I mean, there are some great apps also for Apple Pencil, which are basically more painting apps. We're kind of different because we're more of a, a vector-based drawing app. You know, we have infinite zooms, so it slightly takes a different uh, approach to it. But we try to make it so uh, seamless and, and, um, and easy to use that it's like anybody can pick it up and immediately um, do a sketch with it. And that's the whole intention. And then develop, develop it further. And... Uh, put sizes to it and um, and give it uh, uh, give it a lot more detail to it I mean I, I hadn't thought about the fact that it's probably vector based that makes perfect sense given what it was designed to do but it seems like so much of the focus these days is on the pixel approach and, and I personally like vectors anyway because I understand them well the thing is exactly I mean I, the way the architects uh, work I mean they have big sheets of paper and they might be, uh, you know, drawing some details. They might be zooming in, putting in like a small little details. It's all this going back and forth of different scales. And on a, on a pixel based, you know, there's a limit to how much you can zoom in and out. When it's vector based, you can actually go from the very, very large, you know, kind of a city block size down to a room size, even, a, you know, putting the furniture. And that's how people actually, a lot of architects develop their ideas. They go from the very large to the very small, and it's a continuous uh, changes of uh, uh, scale that actually makes, uh, makes the whole process very fluid. And that's what, is, uh, you know, what you can do with, um, with ArchiSketch, which is different to the other, uh, the other apps. But, but an Apple Pencil is not required for ArchiSketch. No, Apple Pencil is not uh, required. Actually, Finger, Finger does, as, uh, does as well. I mean, we have some features that allow you to, um, uh, to sort of zoom under your finger as you draw. As you draw. So it actually sort of uh, the fatness of your finger is sort of compensated for. But with Apple Pencil, it's just a little bit much more um, fluid and easy. And it's uh, much more natural. Given that we're talking about just being able to experiment with it, it, do you find do you feel the learning curve is steep, or can I just pick up and start to play with it and get the gist of it? There is a learning curve. I mean, and and I think uh, the more professional apps uh, with for the iPad, there is going to be a slight a slight learning curve. You could pick it up and start playing with it. There wouldn't be any problem. But the more sophisticated features, I mean, for example, we have one one point and two point perspective smart perspectives where you can actually take a um, an image an elevation or a streetscape put it in the app set up the perspective to that and actually sketch in uh, sketch in the uh, perspective lines it's not actually a 3d uh, world but it's actually like traditional perspective drawings but again to set those up it's slightly more complicated than anybody can do it but again we have lots of videos on our uh, from within the app on uh, on our website where you can actually just go and learn these things I mean one of the things was actually to make the learning curve easy so we have a, around I think 15 we should have around about 20 very soon of actually short short videos where it goes through each individual features showing you how to do it so it's actually making that experience of learning easy 
And I think you can take it in steps. You can say, okay, now I want to learn about doing, a, you know, 3D perspectives. And you can actually just watch the video, you know, under two minutes and actually then just learn and just play around with it. I think that's a hallmark of, great, hallmark of great software, that you can sit down, you can start to play with it, get a sense of it, and then start to dig deeper. And after all, this is a professional tool, so I wouldn't expect you to be able to pick it up in 10 minutes. Yes, I mean, and I think I myself, I sort of spent uh, three months developing, and I then say, okay, I want to do some work on it. And as an architect, I said, God, this is, I find very annoying. So I have to say, go back to the drawing board and say, okay, let's redo this and rethink this. Okay, we need this feature. So it becomes actually quite a good balance because one side is a developer and one side as a, as a designer using the tool. So and that's actually quite uh, significant because I actually am using it on an everyday basis and I can see the annoying of, uh, sides to it and, the, you know, and how I can actually, we can actually improve that and um, uh, you know, improve the features and add to it. It's, it's ironic that you would use the phrase back to the drawing board. That's where it all seemed to start, and here you have a brand new drawing board. Yeah, exactly. No, that's the whole point. And it's, uh, it's yeah, to, uh, to get the brand new drawing board and actually take it much further. I mean, it is, it is taking the initial concept of uh, paper and pencil, but actually giving it more. I mean, the whole thing is you never have that kind of uh, uh, scale awareness when you draw with pencil and paper okay you have scale rules you can always check your scale but this is much more fluid it's always there you can you can see your scale all the time so through uh, technology you're we're actually trying to add more to it and you know maintain the experience but to add much more to it when I'm working with ArcaSketch Am I just starting from scratch with a blank page, or is there a way for me to bring in ideas or things from other programs? Yeah, I mean, uh, usually with architects or designers, they have to bring in like a site plan. And either they can do that from the Photos app, or actually from a Creative Cloud, or actually from um, shared extensions. So even if you have an email attachment, that is a site plan. You can basically use the shared extensions and it automatically comes into ArchiSketch, even if ArchiSketch is not running. So we've actually integrated a lot of way for people to bring content. And even from, a, uh, from the web, if you see a texture that you like that you might use in one of your projects, you can actually use your shared extension again to bring it into ArchiSketch. And next time when you run ArchiSketch, you will be able to have it and actually use it. OK, that makes sense. And also, the other thing is, is that you can also export, um, uh, you can email, you can actually print up to A1 size directly from your iPad, and you can actually export back uh, out onto the Creative Cloud. Uh, and actually then you can use, you know, Photoshop or other apps if you wanted to on your, on your particular projects to actually develop them further. So are, you, are, are we storing ArcaSketch files in Creative Cloud, or are we just exporting them to Creative Cloud? No, we're just actually exporting JPEG, JPEGs to the Creative Cloud. And uh, no, the, all the files are actually uh, stored internally. So what kind of pricing do we have for, for ArcaSketch? ArcaSketch right now, for the initial month of uh, the new release, which came out uh, just a few days ago, is uh, $9.99. And it's going to go up um, to uh, fourteen ninety-nine. Wow, that's expensive for a professional tool. Well, well <laughs> <laughs> that was sarcasm. In case you weren't sure, that's that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous when I see what this with this, what this program can do. <laughs> well, it's a. Uh, we hope that a lot of. I mean, we hope that a lot of people will start using it. It's actually hope that even uh, people with home improvements will start actually using it. It's a. If you're a, if you want to buy a house. You always you say, okay, what happens if I move that wall, or would my couch fit on that? Because you know we have symbols, so you can actually put symbols on there. Would my bed fit on that? So there's a lot of people that hopefully will actually see the benefit of it over time, and you know these are the markets that we want to actually penetrate. Uh, so it's not just the architects, designers, you know, uh, uh, the landscape designers and uh, product designers, but we can see that there's a casual. There's a casual design market, I would say, uh, that dip, in, uh, dip into design of a house or renovation that actually could benefit from it. Uh, so I want to be very clear, since we talk so much about the Apple Pencil, that you don't have to have the Pencil to run Arc Sketch, and you don't have to have one of the brand new iPad Pros to run it. You can still go back and use it with, with other styling. Yeah, you can, you, can use it with the, you can use it with your finger, 
you can use your very basic stylus uh, and you can use it right to the um, to the I think one of the even not the first iPads but the second generation iPads and iPad minis so the whole the whole of range the website where folks to can go and learn more and uh, maybe get one yes it's www.archisketch.eu perfect thank you so much for the time and for telling us all about it thank you very much for having me thank you bye bye folks we'll have more from WWDC and the alt conference in San Francisco I'm Chuck Joyner this is Mac Voices Visit macvoices.com for show notes, links to subscribe, and to connect with Chuck on Twitter, Google+, Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo, SoundCloud, the Mac Voices blog, the Mac Voices Dispatch, our weekly newsletter, and on Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard that helps you do more with your Apple tech. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.